They glance over and make notice of your approach. You see one of them puts their hand up like this. Begins to step down one or two of the stones. Glances over your direction and you hear a voice go, Who are you with? Miss Timult. What is your business out there? That's above your pay grade, son. Can I talk with you for a moment? Make it fast. It kind of pulls you about 10 feet away and not quite making eye contact with you, kind of talking out the side of their face towards you. Who are these individuals? I don't think you need to know that. I think I do. It is part of my job here to remain post for outsiders, and uh, one of my one of my aides here at the site has exhibited some concern that perhaps you have been infiltrated. Which one? Kind of like gives a nod over towards uh, Orem. You. How many of them? Tell are your there? aid. There's nothing to worry about. They've been in my service for a long time and have been working doubles. This doesn't go beyond us. Fucking piece of shit. What, what, what are you doing? That's none of your business, son. And I'm gonna look at the dead druid. You failed your mission. Where is Thul? Congratulations. You fell to a group of weaklings. Luckily, our master is forgiving. <laughs> we can bring you back. If you prove yourself. I'm gonna use my mage hand. I'm gonna rip the head off of the dead body and bring it up in the air. So it's looking at me in the eye. And the tongue's kind of. <laughs> what happened to the two? The wizard and the monk. Imogen, who's standing there, kind of like, just vanishes into the tent. Imogen, you feel yourself pulled back, full on like chokehold in the throat. And a voice in your ear goes, who are you? Why are you fighting the Vanguard? Wait, did I recognize that voice? Did I recognize the voice? No, you don't recognize the voice at all. Uh... You keep being pulled back, like behind a, a row of crates and like supplies that are stacked up in here, and just kind of get dragged and held. Your feet kind of like being pulled down. Do you resist at all? What do you in do? In their head, they're gonna hear. I've got friends coming in. Are we friends or enemies? I asked you first. They kind of pull you down below, so they're out of sight. Just as the three of you get to the front of the tent and look in, and see no sign of Imogen. The question isn't why. It's are you fighting too? You start being pulled back to the very edge of the tent and then quietly pulled out of the tent just as they're approaching, like from underneath. As you get pulled out the back of this tent and like brought down the side of this mountain, like rock by rock, like very deftly, like you're being kind of held and like jumped down step by step and then held once more, like. In. They're still talking in your ear, even though you're talking in their head. They're like, who are you with? I'm going to use command. What? And what? just say, release. I thought I were going to do this. And you feel a flick in the back of your shoulders. 
you feel like your muscles in your back begin to seize up. And then you kind of push through it slightly, but it's still like causing your body this kind of, it's not like a pain more than just everything is fighting against the action, the activity you're putting behind it, and, but you manage to push through it a little bit. The voice goes, ah, shit. God damn it, if we're fighting the same thing, let us talk to each other face to face. The figure spins you around, kind of grabbing the edge of the cloak, and immediately like holds a fist and like right up under your chin, and just here, like the dark shadow says, "Any sudden moves, break your neck." You hear me? Any sudden moves. You see a uh, a female figure in this like hood that's up and kind of pulled in front, uh, kind of darker brown skin. Long sleeveless robes and uh, what looks to be like a staff affixed across the back <gasps> of, of the shoulders. So, who are you? And what's going on? Be disloyal. Before I break your pretty little neck. At this point, I'm going to. We're the Bell's You're... Hells. And we're trying to keep him from releasing whatever's up there. What? Who the hell are you? Someone on a similar path, it seems. Kind of cracks her knuckles a bit and backs up a little bit. Kind of releases you, but still keeping a close eye. Maybe trusted? Yeah. I'll kill you. I'll trust him with my life. Bye. Call them over. We've got company. Oh, fuck. Friendly. So far. You work for gold? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes. I can get you gold. Fuck your gold. Well, wait, how much? <laughs> I'm so proud of you right now. You taught me that. Yeah. Do we have any concrete questions that he might have the answer to? I don't think he knows shit. Friend. Yep. I have to respect that comment. That was pretty ballsy. No, I kind of want to. Just feels like a challenge, and you know how I feel about those. I'll admit, there's part of me that just wants to, you know, let him walk around free and just see what happened. I don't want to do that. I said part. <laughs> <clears throat> You've been poking around in there. What do you see? I see that you're under an asshole. <laughs> You have money, and that's it. Not a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that makes you useless to me. Not even that much money anymore. How to find a way. The bright, flaring moon of Ruidus above you. What do you want? No response. Odahan? Are you here? Nobody seems to be present. Just the sound of wind. Strong, dangerous wind. I'm gonna reach out my hand and I'm gonna lightning strike the hut next to me and just destroy it if I can. As you reach out your arm, all the weird designs on your body, the extended kind of tendrils of energy that seem to slowly move across your body, completely fill your arm, and the bolt strikes outward as it arcs across the outside of the hut. You watch it begin to burn and darken, and as it immediately burns up, the wind carries it away like the cloak but a moment before, and you watch as the flames and thatch just dissipate into the storm. I'm gonna kick up and fly up into the air. Okay. <laughs> you head up and watch as the dust around you begins to subside slightly further and further 
that glaring moon above you. And you can see the darkness of the stars beginning to come closer and closer. Um, I'm gonna take some rope that I have uh, and I'm gonna try to work it around the chair um, in front of me and turn it into kind of like um, some reins like I would use on a well, riding a horse so I can try to hold it like rain so I can keep standing. I won't even make you roll for that because you are you are a person who yes. grew up riding horses, breaking horses, training horses. You know how to do this very well. And so yeah, you go ahead and pull some, as long as you have rope in your pack somewhere, you or Ashton, you go ahead and situate. Uh, we're talking, this is almost dune levels, like you know, sandworm riding style reins at the front that you can hold on to as you go. Um, but as, as he pushes forward, you look back and see the opportunity to go ahead and release the lightning bolt. Which so direction are you shooting it? I'm going to go straight through to try to hit the, the right driver there? and the, yeah. yeah. You got it. So, leaning forward, mm-hmm. you watch as this bolt of purple lightning energy kind of like arcs off of her hand, arcs over Ashton, it. slams into the ground, and then <laughs> carves right up in. and up into the air before it <laughs> dissipates into the sky. How do you want to do this? Oh! Both of them in the vehicle, just like kind of describe to me how you damage everything there. Oh, um, my eyes flash white and a, a lightning bolt arcs from my hand. <laughs> straight, I want it to go straight through this guy's chest, down into his chest, and then oh. out the front of the vehicle. Here. Oh, you got it. All cool. right. It careens off this way as the vehicle oh, yes. explodes and detonates. Both of them are immediately destroyed as the vehicle tumbles up and just. Detonates entirely. In doing so, it blows up in the face of the other vehicle. It manages to just like maneuver slightly out of it, just kind of Phil. right, right through the, the flames as it <laughs> explodes, and you see the other skirmisher color like oh, just emerge from it. The Get back on the vehicle. <laughs> that the whole thing kind of sh- shifts around rapidly this way, and as it does, you all can see now the orum just slowly <laughs> rotating in the air and like just drifting out of space. Uh, like, can I? From your standpoint, it's ragdoll. My eyes just. It's like flare white all of a sudden, and my hair starts to float up, and I don't even know what's happening, but I am floating up in the air. You all watch, and just come. Kind of what? What? Dark eyes. What? Dark okay. And I'm gonna fly, and get him. Oh. You watch Imogen just take off into the air, arcing, and over the side of the ship, this kind of crackling purple energy just emanating from the back of her hands and her feet, just kind of gliding her forward in like the slow cannonball-like motion as you arc downward over the side. You see Orm's kind of flipping, and you are you're kind of dazed for the moment, but but you're you're trying to grasp. You're floating slowly downward, but you're from the impact. You're also spinning over and over again as you're going. You're trying to like put your arms out to, to gain some sort of traction against the wind, and it's helping a little bit, but you're still kind of a little out of control. And as each time you rotate, you see this like spark of pink purple just get bigger and bigger until suddenly you <laughs> reach out. And if if this wasn't a feather fall, this would be a like a, a skill check. But because he's floating slow enough with feather fall within this minute period, you manage to reach out and grab and prevent him from falling any further. <laughs> Hold on to me. I'm not strong. OK, me either. <laughs> oh, boy. You take off back towards the ship, which is now fully rotated, and stopped its forward momentum. And the rest of you watch as kind of Briefly, for a moment, you have no visual on either of them. They just vanished. And then over the side. Yeah! <laughs> Magneto touchdown! Yes. Yeah! All right, as soon as everybody's up, I'm just going to turn back to the crowd. I'm not going to say a word, I'm just going to. Yes. And fly. Yes. So I'm going to raise up and levitate up and then like back onto the ship while staring everybody. <laughs> you can hear the audible, oh, the gasps just kind of pouring through the crowd. That's so stupid. What a waste of a spell. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> That's what this is about. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to pick up the, the backpack <laughs> from the car that we have, from the from the crawler that we have, and go set it down by the, the leg of the ruined crawler. A backup. Back towards the crawler. A the crawlers whistle. are how far away? Uh, from where you are right now. From the ruiner, from the the ruin crawler. Oh, uh, about thirty or so feet. Okay. Or, or more, depending on. I mean, Birdie stopped first. Um, 
But at, there's a loud whistle, and you see two more figures kind of step out from behind where you were that were hiding amongst kind of the brush and the trees. Down on the ground level, yeah. Ground level, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have their kind of rifles kind of situated up against their. One of them has like a pistol and is kind of just holding it out, like they don't really know how to hold it properly, and they're like too squared and awkward and bent. Um, all wearing various bits of, of, of masks and cloth to hide their faces, and the leader is. You are right, you do not know who I am. <laughs> but I will change that. For you will, after this day, tell everyone you meet that you met the ire of Maricris. Just side note, Marius. where is uh, Maricris? Where is he in relation to the backpack I just set down? Uh, he's kind of on the on the front of oh, the center part of the platform of this 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 large automaton. Okay. So he's kind of like leaning on the front on the by where the metallic guard wall is. Uh, okay. I'm gonna use my mage hand to set the timer off and blow up the bomb. Nice. How, what, how Wait, is, time? It, is it close enough to it to do it? I set it she on set it next down. to the oh, right, leg of the ruin okay, crawler. Yeah. You did. Yeah. How, how much time are you putting on there? Uh, can it be instant? Like instant, because we're far enough away. Okay. Oh, well, God. we're twenty feet away. <laughs> we're. Th no, Orem and FCG are twenty, we're 20 All right, then, feet closer than you. Then in so your heads, before I do this, you hear back up a little, and then I set it off. Leave your things. Place them here. Pay homage and greenness to the ruiner. That yeah, sounds good. I just hop off the crawler. <laughs> Great. Now, the rest of you, if you would. <laughs> there is like a momentary flash of light before the sound hits you. This <laughs> massive explosion that suddenly rocks the, the ground beneath it. You see stone go flying in all directions for a brief second, especially well, all of you at this, at this proximity, your ears immediately ring. Can I cast calm emotions on FCG? Uh, you could if you could see. I can see, because I'm going to use my telekinetic ability to pull my little blindfold down as we're flying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> Just a little me too. <laughs> okay. A little shimmy. All out. So I'll you see like where we're going. move it down, cast calm emotions. Um, <laughs> I will say. I, just, I imagine I look over and I just see FCG like twitching. Yeah, like, like fuck you. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at my, me like that, you freak. I'm gonna get up onto one knee, and I'm gonna pull my knife out of my thigh holster mm -hmm. and fling it towards Marty Chris. All right, everybody. Oh good? yeah, actually, I haven't gotten another dagger since I checked mine. It's three more in the mantle there. <laughs> This is going to be weird. Stick it in my thigh holster. Right as it screeches, I want to reach forward and strangle it around the neck Oof. and cast um, Shocking Grasp. How do you want to do this? Hey. Ooh, I want to strangle it until its neck starts to singe and I'm just going to keep squeezing. Until it head, its head just kind of like goes <laughs> from its butt. As its neck begins my to neck give way. I did that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You feel its body actually begin to crumble away into ash under your grasp, both of your grasps. And as it begins to kind of go limp within your hands, it falls into this small, smoldering pile before it dissipates in with the rest of the surrounding oh, dying that's right. forest floor. <laughs> Have we pissed anything else off around here? Uh, and she kind of reaches up to one of the upper shelves and pulls on the edge and is tugging on this piece of leather that's just out of view, and then suddenly tick, something starts falling. Oh, <laughs> things start breaking, but she reaches out and like grabs a couple and <clears throat> prevents them from breaking. And says, Can I <laughs> want to use like my telekinesis and try to catch one? Try and two. catch one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I so say you managed to do so. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Well, I was, I was like. I can do this. <laughs> Very confused. <laughs> a little disappointing in hindsight, but I appreciate the help. Jenny, also, I'm just going to pitch. I think um, you should give Imogen the butcher's bib. What? I'm not wearing the butcher just for, bib. Like a the dramatic stage. effect. No. Yes. What? You're absolutely what? right. It really. I take it off. Look. I take it off. Imogen. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> it stops midair. <laughs> Does it stop all the blood? Yeah, full on yes. like you know, with drops. Just, <laughs> no. just a, a couple drops. <laughs> As you say that, he sighs a bit oh, and he steps you. over and grabs two stools nearby and kind of like tosses one your direction, sits under himself and kind of. <laughs> I catch it with telekinesis. And sits <laughs> Nuts. Nice. <laughs> cool. uh, but I'm out early, and I just start beating on the door and yelling for everybody to get up, um, and yell uh, specifically yell Imogen's name as loud as I can. Yeah. You all hear the. Telekinesis. <laughs> what? Can I try to uh, use my telekinesis to just shift my dice? Oh shit! Damn. Oh, I would have done that, but I would have done that as soon as it rolled. I would have tried to shift it and just so give it a little yeah, nudge. Yeah. 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 I'm going to uh, cast telekinesis, Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> and I'm going to lift up the table that's on fire, the big rectangular table, right here? and just as fast as I can, slam it into the wall and <laughs> smash this guy in. Oh! <laughs> nice. All right. Um, yeah. I I'm going to, oh god, what do I have? Look at uh, both of the creatures. <laughs> and put my hands out to both of them and say, grovel. Ooh, command. Okay. And I'm gonna command them both to drop to the ground. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna uh, just look at it <laughs> and say, grovel. Oh. And command it to grovel. I'm gonna twin spell. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna <clears throat> look at both the drivers of the cars next to me and say, you should probably brake and command them both to hit the brakes. I'm just gonna look down at the mouth and just try to mentally say, release! That's One more like... command. Wake up! Here we go. Ira. Have some fun for ya. We're gonna fuck up the Malleus Key. At Tishton. You want to play? That was so hot. I would definitely say <laughs> yes to that. Wow. Well. Meet us. Ooh. <laughs> so direct. <laughs> I mean, just take off your shirt. <laughs> we just left Jelvon on an airship. Skyship in, in Matt's world. Oh, Skyship. Is that within your realm of capabilities? If not Bosphorus in six days. We're passing over Bosphorus in about six days. Lorna says hi. Lorna says hi. <laughs> Let me just make sure it worked. I'm gonna cast Detect Thoughts. And go as deep as I can. <gasps> okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just slipping this one in. What do you, what do you want? I, I'm just searching around to see if there's anything else weird with you. You've been acting real funky lately. What are you talking about? I'm not acting funky. Well, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what oh, the hell was that? Well, it landed on us. <laughs> uh, 19. I mean, that beats me. Like an iron trap, as soon as you try and pierce in, you immediately feel resistance and are shut out from the deeper thoughts of Imogen. <laughs> this wasn't caused by any other strange, rooted magics, was it? Anything like you've been, you've just been acting real funky I lately. I appreciate the effort, FCG, of trying to do that, but don't ever do it again without my permission. All right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. Just you've been a little bit on edge lately, is all. You know, things are funny. We're dealing with some funny things, that's all. They're just staring at each other, are they doing Very, that? very slightly. <laughs> I'm gonna like glance down at my pocket and then back up at you, almost imperceptibly. I don't know if you saw it. I almost didn't. I had a passive perception of 16, you probably saw it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry I probed 
ma'am, but just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Thanks for checking. Okay. Have a smiley day. That's my line. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cast sending and try to reach out to dancer. Okay. Has to meet one of us in a public spot. Dancer, we've captured your automaton preparing to disassemble. Is that true? Where can we meet if you're interested in recouping some costs? We're in Bosserus. Wonderful. Yep, there we go. Let's head over. Oh boy, I'm scared. <clears throat> Out of curiosity, Ashton, what was that uh, <laughs> twisted face you just made? I was just impressed by the sheer cold calculatingness of that. I was very well done. My God, it was a little scary. It hadn't occurred to me. I was very capable. I insight check. <laughs> Something, something about that you said dream. Maybe I dream of a lot of things. I know you do. <laughs> Revel and break, right? Are you genuinely wanting to? I'll, I'll insight check. <laughs> All right, so you can make deception or persuasion, your choice, you don't have to say which, and just give me a number. 18. Uh, 15. I'm telling the truth, darling. I would never dream of it. Ever. Stop making that face. We wouldn't let anything happen to you. You have my word. I'm not getting close to that. Just so you know, we won't let you touch them either. Just so we're clear. Yeah, all that profit's gonna be hard. Just kidding. Oh, shit. Bad cop. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> no, seriously. That letter. We're the fucking legacy. We are not, we are not fucking killed that man. We are the thing he set in a motion to make sure it mattered as little as possible. We are his eventual victory, we are his fucking revenge, we are all these things. We are not the cause. We I'll are be his revenge. I have no fucking doubt. Just kind of wrap her arm around behind and we just catch up with the rest of the group. I'm gonna stand off to the side as I watch them walk by and cast a tech thoughts on Dusk. On Dusk? Nothing. <laughs> there's no mind to grasp. It's, there's no, it, it's, it's like your, your reach slips off. <laughs> you push in once more. Yeah, it is. It's fine. It's great. And it's like a wall. It's not an absence of mind, but it's like a mind that is encased, that is protected. There's, there's, there is. N you are being prevented from peeking. And I've never run into anything like that before. No. I kind of want to just like tap tap on it mentally, just to like see what the barrier will do. It almost it glides off, like you're trying to, like you're trying to push a blade against a curved wall. It just kind of deflects. Sorry. All right, I'll leave her alone. Okay. And you contemplate taking those words and hope, hope that Frida is right. You go back and begin to prepare yourself for rest as you begin to notice that the, the strange markings in your body have spread further. And you kind of glance, you can see them rising up to almost to the middle of your arm. And as you kind of pull back, the 
thick blanket that you were using, you can see between the fingers that like slightly purple coloration is beginning to turn red. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> You're a murder bot. He turns into a wolf that kills people. I've never fucking seen you before. You're beautiful, but kind of freaks me out. And you've got shit all over you that you see you not all over me. It's just on my no, arms. No, it's like on right. your neck. Well, like, look, it's can you shit. feel it? It's just, it's moon. It's, it's, it's on moon my stuff. Face. What is it on my it's face? Kind of on your on neck. Like, look, feel right there. Can you feel it? Can I feel anything? The very faintest bit of texture you can see has now moved up, and it's like starting to crest just beneath the earlobes. It's like a little lotion or I'm something, just saying. but y'all are wild. Your eyes are crossed, and I was real stressed. <laughs> How did I don't remember? In the distance, you, you hear. Do you have any babies? Do you need me to check? GM, GM, <laughs> does she have purple stuff on her titties? <laughs> are you looking? I'm looking. She's looking. I'm Do you looking. need a light? I cast a light <laughs> on her <laughs> sweater. <laughs> You probably can't see a little bit. Throw it. You have purple shit on your shit. It's all over me. <laughs> I got lightning titties. <laughs> it. It. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A little bit. All right. You know. With just like hint, hints of red, kind of once again peeking through at, at the source oh, places. Yeah. No, no. Maybe you should, you guys you should just go shop. Where are you going? Wherever you're going. You've earned this, come on. You don't even have to just know what it feels like again, okay? Remind yourself. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Just take a couple hours. Maybe just like a spa day or something. Have some human contact. We can go see, we can go to our old house. We should probably go check in with Shadona. I'm sure she'd be happy to see us. Yeah. Maybe we go check in with Shadonna and I get a new blouse because it does not match this corset. No, yeah. Sorry about that. I should have. No. I love the corset. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's go see Shadonna. Okay. As we go shopping, I imagine we don't have to play that all out. Um. This is not how I imagined <laughs> reuniting would go. I'm, I'm sorry for my outburst. I'm sorry y'all went through so much. It's not, it's not directed at you or anyone else, I hope you know that. I, I, I do. Just the circumstances. That's what's frustrating. It is weird, Lana. I can't hear your thoughts. Even now? Yeah, I don't. Because you, you circle it. It, it. That's great, that's... It's great, but it's also um, strange. It's very strange. Does it make crowded environments so easier? much better? And that's wonderful. You don't have to listen in to get my thoughts. I'll always share them willingly. You can just ask. Can I kiss you? I can't tell if it's all right or not anymore. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, I will. I do. I do. Okay. I kiss her. I. You don't have to. It, <clears throat> I just... Obviously, I care for you. An immense deal. I know. I don't... I don't know if you realize how much of an anchor you are for me. 
And when you weren't, when you weren't there, I was adrift. And Imogen, when you make me better, and when you weren't there, I did horrible things. I'm afraid of, I'm a, I'm a bad person. You're not Imogen. a bad person. You're not a bad person. I kiss her again. I've, I've heard everything inside of you, Claudine. You are not a bad person. I called you my anchor, my tether. Mm. We're that for each other. Whatever you did, you can tell me. And I'm so sorry. I, it's, it feels just like such, such a betrayal to, to everything you all went through. You oh don't need God. to apologize. He attacked you, first of all. Fuck him. Yes. And whatever happened with her, we'll make it right again. We'll make it right again, all right? Can I be honest with you? Always. There's part of me that thinks Maybe we shouldn't. We're about to face the grandest challenges of our lives. You want to use her? Make yourself stronger? Lana has a whole hard time even admitting it out loud. I get it. Look at that fucking moon in the sky. I don't know if I want to get rid of it. Power's very tempting. And I won't judge you either way. Maybe we can. Maybe it's our destiny to harness it. Maybe it's our destiny to find it. I guess time will tell. Together either way. You're very capable. <laughs> Do you think she's a rye kind of a woman or a whole pump 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 and she's your only way here. Get your ass down here and bring her back. Yep, got it. Poor thing. I would if I could. But I ask you to bring her back to for both of us. Did she say anything? Did she give you an answer? She's still fucking weak. I want to cast a sending spell on um, fucking Delilah Briarwood. Ooh. There we go. Okay. What do you say? Cross that bitch. How do I bring her back? Tell me what to do. I'll do anything. 
the voice responds, fainter, thin, fading, whatever it takes. It won't be long now. I'm fading. And I'll take her with me. Oh. <laughs> the two parents kind of look at each other, kind of dumbfounded and angry. And then both of them. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> look towards you with the glass. With this like faint green sheen through the eyes. What do you do? As the branches close <laughs> once more in the tree, Delilah raises a finger. That's unsporting. Did she hear any of it? Could she hear my thoughts? Mm-hmm. Delilah Briarwood. We're gonna sunder you. And I'm gonna psychic glance her. Yeah, let's go. Fuck let's go. Oh, go. Okay. I'm gonna reach my hand out, and I'm gonna look past the skeleton, and I'm just gonna say, "Give her back." And I'm gonna cast lightning bolt okay. through the skeleton at Delilah. All right. I asked her to bring you back. I asked for help. I prayed to her like she was a god. She was pretty useless. You hear that, Delilah? You're pretty useless. I <laughs> just stare awkwardly into your <laughs> eyes, hoping it gets through. <laughs> Maybe she got it. We're at the Spire by Fire, room 69. 